What are you doing for Thanksgiving? I'm going to be stuffing my uh, stomach and then I'm going to um, go to work. Pumpkin or pecan? Uh, I don't like either. Pecan. Pecan. Uh, pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Pumpkin. Neither one. Ham or turkey? Ham. Turkey. Uh, turkey. Wait, no, 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 no. Ham. Turkey. Ham. Of course, ham. Uh, turkey. Ham. My favorite Thanksgiving dish, uh... You know, pile everything on top of there. You got some uh, some rolls, some ham, some... Uh, Six and a half hours later. I don't really like turkey. What are you going to do once you're done eating? Most likely go to sleep. I'm going to sit down and watch the game. What are you thankful for? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm thankful for my grandpa and also the bros, you know. Food stamps. EBT. I have my parents. And Brandon because they're always supportive and they're always there for me and I love it. So. I'm thankful for my family, friends, uh, my job here at Adobe, good students, and an overall good life. <laughs> for being so cute. For my family, Starbucks. Yeah, this is uh, my best friend right here. <laughs> well, obviously for my beautiful wife, Mrs. Hopper, uh, for my children and that I work at the best high school in all of Texas. For Brand Pretty, <laughs> what else? <laughs>Good morning, Longhorns. I'm Jennifer Trong, and welcome to JFD TV for Tuesday, November 17th. Our top story features our organization leaders getting a sense of Thanksgiving's true essence. Here's reporter Alanis Macias with the story. Cyber Monday coming up, our reporter Austin Pritchett gave us tips and pointers on a successful shopping trip. For some, Thanksgiving is not just about eating a delicious turkey. It's also the kickoff of the busiest shopping season. So how do you survive the crowds and get the best deals? It's easy. First of all, plan carefully. Study all the ads and learn what goes on sale at what time. Create a schedule of where you'll go when. Plan your night to get the best doorbusters. Also, are you really getting the best deal? Many TVs you see on sale are cheap for a reason. They're made with parts that are cheaper and possibly less reliable. So it might be better to spend a little more on something that'll last longer. If you aren't a fan of crowds, try shopping online. Retailers such as Amazon and Walmart are hosting some awesome deals on their online storefront. If you have a fast finger, you might be able to have better luck getting deals. Your luck will improve if you ensure your payment method is saved in advance. Good luck getting the best deals. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Austin Pritchett. With it being our last game of the season, we sent out our football crew to catch the highlights of the Dobie vs. North Shore playoff game. And if we 
should die tonight And we should all die together Raise a glass of wine For the last time Cold in our father Prepare as we will Watch the flames burn over and over The mountainside Desolation comes upon the sky Now I see fire Inside the mountain I see fire Burning the trees And I see fire This past Friday, your Dobie Longhorns took on the North Shore Mustangs. Although the guys gave it their all, the Mustangs ended the horn season with the final score of 52 to 17. Even though the season came to an end, big numbers were still put up throughout this 2015 season. Anthony Owens rushed for 507 yards and scored a total of seven touchdowns. Chris Morris finished out the season with 552 yards and 4 touchdowns. Jeremy Davis threw for 203 yards, rushed for 138, and scored a total of 6 touchdowns. Jalen Bolden finished out a strong season, receiving for a total of 565 yards and scored 6 touchdowns. Tyler Jerome finished the season off with 1,000 plus passing yards and 225 rushing yards. He also scored four touchdowns. It's, it's a crazy feeling knowing that I was here for four years and that four years flew by. But these kids around me, man, uh, made it the best four years and I could, couldn't be any more grateful. I love everybody that's on this team, man. Whether it's Marquise Josue. Whoever, Jalen Bolden. We family, hey, we're a family, man. And I don't care what y'all say. Whoever, 2016, 2017, 2018, Already, bro. It whatever. Was a, it was an honor playing with all of these fellas. Fun. I wouldn't pick them over anybody else. This is yeah, my, this no, my team. Did. I love them all. We did this. I love y'all, boys. Class of 2016, we rule the school. <laughs> performing for Dobie football. It's really sad, but happy at the same time. We worked so hard all of these three years, and it's just a good feeling that it all paid off, and yeah, I'm gonna miss it. Uh, it's a really sad moment, but I'm also kind of happy because I did have a lot of good memories to cherish, and it was a good four years of high school and football games and everything, so I'm, I'm happy overall. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's kind of bittersweet just knowing that, you know, I've been part of this organization for the past four years, but uh, it's definitely, you know, it's time to move on and time to see this organization grow as it has since, you know, our sophomore year. So it's uh, definitely something to learn from and move forward. The theater department is hard at work for their upcoming season. Reporter Marcella Pena has the details. Our theater department has big plans for their upcoming competition. What is the one act play about? The one act play is based on myths from the Ashanti tribe in West Africa. Uh, and it's about a woman who has to go out into the bush to save her daughter from demons. What kind of people are you looking for to come audition? We really need people that are multi-talented. Uh, we obviously need actors. We also need people that are not afraid to learn how to drum, uh, to move and dance. This is going to be a really rhythmic and uh, movement-oriented show. When are our auditions? 
Auditions are going to be on Monday, November 30th, and then also on December 1st and 2nd. Be sure to look out for more information about theaters One Act Play. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Marcella Pena. That'll do it for JFD TV. You can find us on YouTube, Vimeo, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at JFD TV. Have a great Thanksgiving, and we'll see you back here after the break.